Hi, VIP Kid Teacher John here. Today I want to show you how to use green screen or chroma key in your classroom. I got a great question from Christy. She asked, can I use props and can other objects be in the screen while I'm using green screen? Short answer, yes, as long as it's not green. So check it out. I want to show you how to step-by-step -step use Minicam or a similar application to use green screen inside VIP Kid, inside your VIP Kid classroom or any other online teaching platform. Step one, you got to have a green screen. Check out my other video. I have a portable classroom set up and in the description you can see the green screen that I have. It's durable, portable, easy to set up, works great for me. Step two, good lighting. But you don't have to spend a lot of money. Up here on both sides I have clamp lights. You put a regular bulb in them, they have the silver reflective uh, cone on them. I have two here and behind the the green screen I have two super cheap lamps like less than ten dollars total shining up to take shadows off of the green screen gotta have good lighting super important alright step three you got your lighting you got your screen now we're gonna work inside minicam right here over to the right you see this the option chroma key click that and now it gives you the option, I'm going to change this to transparent background, it gives you the option to turn chroma key on. Click that button and now you need to choose the eyedropper. Now somewhere in here you need to click on the green. And look what happens, everything that is this light green, that bright green color is going away. Now it's important here to move around a little bit. And as you put shadows behind you, you can see my green popping up here at the bottom. As you move around and make the screen, ooh, look at that, make the screen look different, uh, you can erase that green because you don't want little fuzzy spots in your classroom while you're teaching. So I feel pretty good about this. I've erased the green and now from this drop down menu, I can select my background. There's some preloaded backgrounds on Manicam. You see the, the red and the green, you got the blue one here. And of course, we got the one that looks like I have a rug hanging up behind me. But I want to use a custom background. So, I, guys, I've just Googled VIP Kid Bulletin Board background or VIP Kid background. I found some, some options here. Now, you know, people put these out there online for people to, to share. They also put their name on them. So, I've just done a little editing. Sorry, Amber or Aaron or whoever this background is. It's very helpful to me. You can see that's one of my custom backgrounds I use. Um, and I've just covered up the name. This is my favorite right here at my head. It says teacher smiley face. Uh, but it just has a cool classroom feel. But I love that I can upload the Great Wall of China, Big Ben, the Golden Gate Bridge, no matter what kind of lesson I'm teaching. Maybe I have a farm when I'm talking about farm animals or I have a, a picture of a zoo as I'm talking about wild animals. You get the idea. You can use your background to support your lesson parents are going to notice this sort of thing. Now let me talk to you about blur, blur contour and shrink contour. Those can be important, especially if your lighting is not quite uh, like it should be. Look, you can see after I put this background over here, right up here in the top, a little fuzzy. See that? I can go back and click up here with my eyedropper a few times until that fuzzy spot goes away. Now that looks, that looks better for sure. You also can use Minicam to zoom in. So you feel like, oh, I want to get some, rid of some of the fuzzies? Zoom in. All right. Now let's go back to the blur contour and the shrink contour. What happens with shrink contour is it is going to make smaller the, the lines between the objects on camera and the green screen. Now I have, I have a pretty good shot here, so shrink contour didn't really change a lot. If you look along the, the lines of my sofa, as I turn shrink contour up, you'll see it shrink slightly. You can use this to, to help adjust your green screen if you feel like it's kind of fuzzy. Blur contour is going to help. You see newscasters sometime and their hair is fuzzy on screen. Blurring that will help make the line between your green screen and the physical objects on camera less noticeable. So I usually keep these both around here. Um, it's not that big a deal. The poor the lighting, 
the more necessary these two tools are going to be for you. Now, I've got my green screen set up. Now, look, I can use any kind of prop I want. I can say, can you click? Okay, you can. My hands move around freely on screen. And as I use some of the, the accessories within Minicam, you can see, works right with my green screen. Gives me a nice effect. All right, so that's green screening inside your virtual classroom with Minicam. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Click the subscribe button. Help me out! And uh, I'm going to have more helpful videos coming out, doing some more work with, uh, with Chroma Key, with Minicam, some of the features of Minicam that I think will be helpful to you. Subscribe, like, comment, even ask a question. If you, if you look, watch this video and you, you want to know, hey, how do I do this? Or I missed this step. Comment and I'll see if I can hook you up, help you out with that. This is Teacher John. I'll see you next time. Happy teaching.